أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وخل له تتم لساني يفقه قولي الله the creator the lord Allah the one who was before everything and the one who would be after everything clarifies in his holy scripture in his final word qul huwa Allahu ahad Allahu samad that Allah the lord the god is only one Allahu samad he is the one who does not need anything or anyone he is carefree from every dependence lam yalid wa lam yulad he is the one who has not begetted any children wa lam yulad nor he is the children to anyone wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad and he is the glorious one nothing or nobody can ever reach his glory can nothing and nobody can ever be parallel to his glorious glorious place his glorious position currently there is a situation in all of the world that the people are calling the climate change the people think there is happening a huge climate change around the world that is causing tornadoes around the globe that is causing floods and lightning strikes and huge catastrophic changes around the globe and the people are following the so called scientists and are believing in these myths that the human activity on the earth is causing the earth to react in such an aggressive manner but this is the belief of the people who have closed their eyes from a huge fact from this basic fact that this earth and all of its beings were created by one and only god called allah the glorious and he is the one who is in control of everything that is happening in the universe he is the one who created the earth and he is the one who created the seven skies and he is the one who created everything in between and as samawatu matwiyatu bi yamini and these skies and everything in between and the universe is at the palm of his right hand and he is in full control of his creatures so they are dismissing this fact that's why they are finding themselves finding the reasons lame excuses to shut their eyes to close their eyes from the actual fact that is causing these catastrophes the god the glorious is in full control of everything that is happening around the universe and when he is in full control he has created everything with perfect balance nothing goes out of control out of balance unless he wants it to go the catastrophes that are happening around the globe right now especially in the middle east are something that were never seen 
in recorded history. There was no such floods or storms in the deserts of Arab in all of recorded history. So this is a phenomena that the humans do, are not aware of. There is only one way to know when did this happen last time. And that one way is to know it through the revelation. To know it through the God. And the God clarifies in the Bible. The God clarifies this in the Quran. That this catastrophe, the catastrophes and the floods and storms of this scale did happen. And the last time they happened were the time of Noah, Hazrat Noah And it was the time when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told his, his servant Noah to tell people to follow and accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as his only Lord. As their only Lord. And Noah told people alayhi salam. Hazrat Noah alayhi salam told people. فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا Noah alayhi salam told people to stop worshipping idols. فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا Noah alayhi salam told people to stop making mischief on earth. فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا Noah alayhi salam told people to stop making people oppressed to stop oppression on earth. فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا Nuh alayhi salam told people to mend their ways and seek forgiveness from the Lord, the glorious Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا And he told people that the Lord, the glorious Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would forgive you. يُرْسِلِ السَّمَاءَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِدْرَارًا وَيُمْدِدْكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ وَبَنِينَ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا And he told people that if you mend your ways and seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not only forgive you but also shower his blessings in all forms in the form of rain that would be beneficial for you and in the form of human resources and in the form of money and resources that people need for a prosperous living on earth. But when Noah, Noah salam, kept on telling people for so long and people did not listen for 900 and more years, then finally Nuh alayhi salam told his Lord that, O oh Lord, O oh God, قَالَ رَبِّ إِنِّي دَعُوتُ قَوْمِي لَيْلًا وَنَهَارًا He told the God, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, إِنِّي دَعُوتُ قَوْمِي لَيْلًا وَنَهَارًا O oh Lord, O oh my Creator, I have been calling people to you day and night, all of the times. But the people have been so stubborn that the more I call them to you, O oh Lord, the more they flew away, the more they fled away from you. وَإِنِّي كُلَّ مَا دَعُوتُهُمْ لِتَغْفِرَ لَهُمْ جَعَلُوا وَصَابِعَهُمْ فِي آذَانِهِمْ وَاسْتَغْشَوْ ثِيَابَهُمْ وَأَصَرُوا وَاسْتَكْبَرُوا اسْتِكْبَارًا O Lord, and every time I call them to you that you might forgive them, they thrust their fingers into their ears and wrapped up their faces with their garments. And not only that, وَأَسَرُّوا وَاسْتَكْبَرُوا اسْتِكْبَارًا And they became very, very stubborn and they did not 
they became very stubborn and proud and they did not listen to me at all then summa inni da'utuhum jihara then o oh lord i openly summoned them summa inni a'lantu lahum wa asrartu lahum israra and o oh lord i preached them in public and also preached them and addressed them one by one in privacy and i told them all those things but they did not listen and they they fled further from you o lord then finally the prophet noah noah alayhi salam asked the rabb asked the lord wa qala nuhu rabbi la tazar ala al ard min al kafirin dayara finally he said o lord do not leave out any of these disbelievers non believers do not leave any one of them on earth then finally the lord the god the glorious made the sky shower oceans then the lord made the earth shower waters from within and there was water and storms everywhere this was the last time this happened to people and the people think that this is happening because of climate change then people should know that it did not happen to mankind unless the lord the glorious the god wanted it to happen and the last time it happened was the time of noah and after that this is happening now so it means the people are indulged in extreme kind of disbelief extreme kind of mischief on earth that's why allah subhanahu wa taala is very very angry with the people that's why allah subhanahu wa taala is showering the wrath on people so it is time for the christians to mend their ways and stop associating with associating god with allah subhanahu wa taala it is the time for the christians to mend their ways and stop calling Jesus alayhi salam the son of god stop they must stop calling it and they must stop associating mary to the lord maryam alayhi salatu was salam and her son jesus isa alayhi salatu was salam were the servants and the creations of allah subhanahu wa taala they were not the relatives they were not the son or wife na'udhu billah summa na'udhu billah of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is time for the jews to finally accept that the final messenger muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not come from within them and allah chose the children of ismail ismail alaihi salam for the final messenger muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they must accept that the final messenger the final prophet they were waiting for had come 1450 or more years ago and they must accept islam as the final message of allah subhanahu wa taala final deen of allah subhanahu wa taala it is time for the hindus to accept that islam is the true religion and the idols do not give and they are not the gods only allah subhanahu wa taala is the god and it is time for the muslims to mend their ways and stop being such narcissists stop being such munafiks that they by by their tongues they call allah subhanahu wa taala as their lord but from their actions they follow their politicians they follow the ones 
who have money, who have fan following, they follow the ones who have material. And the Muslims must accept this fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the final messenger to establish Allah's deen on earth. And the Muslims must mend their ways. Number one, to avoid all forms of shirk. Number two, avoid all interest-based transactions. And number three, number three and the very, very important one, to stop involving themselves in different kinds of kingdoms and states and accept that Lord and the God is the glorious and He is only the one to, rule, to let the earth ruled by the ones He appoints Himself. So all these kingdoms and states that we have established as Muslims are a form of shirk, are a form of polytheism that we associate sort of gods with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the form of in the form of states. So Muslims must mend their ways and start prostrating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send us or open to us the true leader that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ha has appointed or will appoint on earth so that all these states and all these small kingdoms are vanished and only one Khilafah Allah's rule is established on earth. So this is the time for all of the people around the globe to mend their ways. Otherwise Allah's wrath would keep on falling, falling and it will not stop. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to the truth and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to the true appointee from himself so that one world government and the true Khilafah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is established on this earth. Aqulu qawli haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'li al-muslimin wa al-muslimat wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa ahli baytihi ajma'in.